What is going on guys, Joe here back with another one and in this video I'm going to show you how to easily install iOS 13 beta even if you don't have your iOS device registered to a developer's account because as you may or may not know right now to have access to iOS 13 you need to have it registered to a developer's account. Now this is going to be on beta 2 but going forward you will be able to update to the newer betas once they are released as Apple releases those. But with the original release of the developer beta there was no profile to install so we weren't able to just easily upgrade without having a developer's account. Now be aware this is still in beta so if you decide to install it on your primary device you may run into issues so just keep cautious that it may be buggy here and there or your apps may not run properly so i would advise not to install it on your primary device yet there is going to be a public beta that apple announced that it will be released in july but according to their developers website it's set to release later this month so you could maybe wait another week or two and you could have a public beta which is going to patch many bugs that are currently on the betas but if you can't wait that long this video is going to show you how to easily install ios 13 beta 2 right now but as always be sure to back up your device before even trying this because if something goes wrong or if some apps don't run properly how you need them to run while you're on ios 13 beta and you decide to downgrade to ios 12 you won't be able to recover your information that was backed up on iOS 13. So you'll lose all your messages, contacts, all that stuff. So if you know you're probably going to go back to iOS 12, make a backup while you are on that software. So just keep that in mind. Make a separate backup while you are on the current software you are on before upgrading to iOS 13 beta. Otherwise, you have to be stuck on iOS 13. Now another thing, make sure your device is compatible. Listed here are the devices that are compatible with iOS 13. So if your device is on here, you're good to go. Now doing this method doesn't require a computer at all, which is really convenient. It just requires you to install a certain profile for iOS 13 beta, which is gonna be found in the links down below in the description. But I have it right here. This is the iOS 13 beta 2 profile link. And if for some reason this link doesn't work, I will try to update as much as possible if this one is not working but let me know in the comments if for some reason you run into issues but this one is currently working as of filming this video now currently on this device i am running 12.3.2 which is the latest software update for ios 12. so as you see here software version 12.3.2 so i'll be able to easily upgrade to ios 13. so go ahead and click on the link it's gonna be a file in a Dropbox, but uh, just hit continue on website and then you'll hit download right here and then direct download. Right here, it's gonna say the website is trying to download a configuration profile. So do you wanna allow this? And we have to hit allow, that way it installs it. So it says the profile has downloaded, review the profile in the settings app if you want to install it. So we're done with that. Go to settings, go back and then Right here, it's gonna say profile downloaded. If you can't find it here, you will actually find it in general. Scroll all the way down, and then right here where it says profile, that's gonna be it right there. But click on there, and then we'll hit install, and then install, install one more time. And then it's gonna ask you to reboot the device. So we'll restart. All right, once the device is booted back up, we can go into our settings app and go to general, go to software update, and now you'll see that you have access to download iOS 13 developer beta 2. So we'll just hit download and install, and then we agree to this, and now it's gonna download the software. Now, depending on your internet connection, this will determine the download, but here in a few minutes, it's gonna download the software and then I'll be able to install it on my device. And going forward, whenever Apple releases new betas, like beta three in a few weeks, beta four, all that, I'll easily be able to update to those by going to software update on my device. Keep in mind, you will be on the developer beta. So you will normally have earlier access than what the public beta is because normally the public beta is released maybe a day or two after the developer beta. At least that's how it's been in the past. But as I mentioned, if you want to wait for the public beta, we could be just 
a week or two away from that release. But if you can't wait, you can do it now using this method here. It's really simple to do and you have access to the developer beta now. With the help of video magic, I'll be able to simply fast forward this um, as this is taking quite some time, but took several minutes for myself to go ahead and download and prepare the update and then install it. I'd say probably like 10, 15 minutes, maybe less, but that's roughly around the time that it'll take you. Again, according to the servers and your internet connection determines that. So once that is complete, we can go ahead and unlock our device again. And now if we go into settings, general about, you will see that we are on iOS 13.0. So now you have settings like dark mode, which is a really popular one. So as you see here, everything will turn dark, which is pretty cool. But that is how you get iOS 13 onto your device without having a developer's account. Really simple to do, but if you wanna know some cool new features on iOS 13 to check out, check out my last video where I go over some of the top iOS 13 features, including dark mode, but also stay tuned for another video because iOS 13 beta 2, which is what I just installed on this device, is now out and that includes some bug fixes and things like that. But anyways, guys, let me know if you did install iOS 13 in the comment section below, and also let me know what your favorite feature is so far. But as always, if you did enjoy this video, let me know by hitting that like button as it not only lets me know that you enjoyed it, but it also shows support to the channel. And if you're not yet following on social media, like Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff, I'll leave those linked down below in the description. And if you feel like being awesome, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and be sure to turn on that notification bell. That way you'll be notified every time I drop a new video. Anyways, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Appreciate your support very much. And uh, I'll catch you all in the next one. All right. Peace.